how to create a life of fulfillment. That sounds like a very ambitious speech title for a five to seven minute speech for the day. Um, but I'm going to give you some bits and snippets of how to create a life of fulfillment and how to make it happen for you. Um, some of you don't know that I am a coach and energy healer. And now, but years ago, I was an electrical engineer um, working the nine to seven, at least, hours every day, um, working in toxic environments with toxic people, not liking my job, not enjoying my life, and getting sicker and sicker of this, of uh, my whole experience, but also having a few, a very, a lot of um, results, um, bad results in my health, physical health. Nowadays, I, I help people understand who they are and work into creating a life of fulfillment for themselves. And I'm going to give you an overview of what strategies I used to get there. And I'm using every day to get to more fulfillment, of course, because it's a never ending story, right? Um, and um, help you understand how to do it for yourself and how to apply it in different aspects of your life. It doesn't have to be business and work. It can be relationships, it can be health, it can be whatever aspect you prefer and you want to apply it to. Unfortunately, today I see more and more people really asking to create more in their lives and not staying complacent to and uh, staying settling in life in a life that they don't like that doesn't work for the for them and it's not enjoyable so more and more people are asking to create something that works for them to get out of the box to get out of the how we think life should be how we think we should be doing and how we were told and taught life is like having a job having a family, um, making kids, and that's it. And don't ask for more. In a sense, now people are seeking to find enjoyment over being safe, which is, in my opinion, a very good thing. So let's go to my proposal for the day and my strategy, the strategy I used to get there and in a sense that I did it intuitively without really knowing what I was doing over trial and error. So today I'm going to give you the things that worked and you can use for yourself. I'm going to break it into do's and don'ts. So let's start with the do's. If you want to create some difference in your life and create something new and make your life more enjoyable, then write down what makes you happy what you feel you would like your life to be like in specific examples. Don't try to label it. Don't try to give it a name. Don't try to give it a name like I am a coach. I am becoming a therapist. I am um, a salesperson. It doesn't have to be have a name now. So don't uh, use your brain to limit yourself and your potential because your brain doesn't know what can be um, can be um, poten uh, can be your potential in the future. Write down in a document that can have handy and you can update it because you will need to update it because as you go in life you will realize I want that too or actually what I wrote down doesn't work for me because I felt that, I experienced it, and I don't like it anymore. Use feelings, how you would like to feel. Maybe you can describe your best day, how your life and a good day uh, um, and every day feels and looks like, how many hours you work. Um, when I started uh, doing this for myself, I didn't know I wanted to become a coach. I knew that I wanted to be my own boss. I wanted to have a lot of days of vacations because I want the freedom to travel and um, create. And I wanted to help people. And that were a few things I wrote down in my document. Another thing to do is to use present tense. Because if we, we, if we use a future tense, I will be, I will be doing, 
I will feel like that. What happens is that our brains always postpone um, delivering the sensation to us to a future time. It's always postponed. When we use present tense, our brains go into finding solutions and opportunities everywhere for us and ideas. So use your brain, in other words, your, your brain capacity. Another thing to do is to experiment, be open to ideas, be open to learning from other people who have done that, who have been out of the box doing something different in their lives. Watch YouTube videos or TEDx videos, read books, be open to what can be possible for you. And of course, if you want to move faster, find someone who can help you in that. Find someone who is professional and actually does that professionally and can help you. Other things that you shouldn't do is again, don't label, don't give a name to what um, you could be doing as a profession, let's say, as a business, a business endeavor or as a new project. Um, don't ask for advice and don't receive advice from people that haven't done that because they don't know, they don't want to, they don't uh, know how to help you because they haven't been there, they haven't experienced that. And they might be actually um, imposing their limiting beliefs and their limitations onto you. And I've had that happen so many times till I realized I should just ask for advice from specific people that I really admire and have been there. And my, uh, my last don't is don't stop. Never stop, never settle, keep going. There will be a lot of failures. There will be a lot of disappointments, a lot of setbacks. Don't stop, keep going until you get there. And when you get there, there will be more opening up for you to go. Don't settle for the illusion that this is it. And I want to end my speech with um, the fact that what works for you is uniquely um, personal to you. And your life is a blank canvas. So be the artist and paint it on your own with the help of others, of course, but be your own artist. <laughs>